What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be doing a full detail on this beautiful BMW 328i. I have always loved these cars, so it's going to be an absolute pleasure to detail this thing today. But before we jump into that, take a second and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Turn the bell on, and yeah, without hey further man, ado. Check this out. Dude, I'm trying to film here. No, no, hold on, I got it. Seriously, did you guys see what I have to put up with? Just roll the intro. All right guys, so while Mike's off nursing his pride, we're gonna get the pressure washer fired up and start with a quick pre-wash rinse of the car to get some of that caked on dirt off before our wash mitt ever hits the paint. Then while the wheels are still wet, I spray on some non-acid wheel and tire cleaner. Make sure you get that all over the tire, all over the rim, get it right down into the barrel there so it can start to uh, kind of lift some of that, that caked on dirt. Um, and because these are such an open wheel design, I find that I really have to get that Speedmaster brush in there so I can get the whole barrel clean. Uh, because if I don't, uh, you guarantee that you're gonna see that some of that leftover dirt, that's just not gonna look good. So we really gotta take our time. So now that the car is covered in thick foam, I go around with a detail brush, making sure to get any of that trap dirt from the crevices around uh, any of the emblems, the grills, and behind the gas door. Don't forget that. All right, so now that we've got the car washed, I'll quickly pull it into the garage to dry it out of the hot sun. So I was having to move really fast when I was washing it today uh, because the soap was starting to dry on the car and that's really no fun to deal with if you guys have ever had that, that happen to you. So um, now usually this is when Mike steps in to help me dry, but uh, he told me he was too busy looking up hula hooping videos on YouTube, so I was on my own here, but uh, with this nice big absorbent microfiber towel that I have, it really doesn't take very long. What? I, 
I can't hear you, Mike. Mike wants to see if you guys can thumbs up the video. What? And to see if you can get it to 5,000 likes? Mike, that's a lot of thumbs in the air. Well, I don't know. We'll see if they can do it. Uh, anyways, I'm going to finish eating these, and I'll see you guys back in the garage when I'm done. Okay, so now to start on the interior, and the first thing to do is remove any loose items from the car and get the floor mats out so we're able to vacuum easier. Now unfortunately I didn't find any interesting or you know funny items in this car, but I'm still waiting for something, maybe in the next one. So now I'm just doing a quick wipe down of the door jams uh, here with just a microfiber towel and honestly these were pretty clean already, uh, so there's no need for any of the you know, all-purpose cleaner or to use the steamer. Uh, it was really just a matter of getting these dry. Moving on to vacuuming now, and guys, the trunk in this car had an absolute boatload of like small little rocks and pebbles that were almost embedded in the fibers. So I had to make quite a few passes with my carpet brush to agitate those loose and get them up to the surface so that I could suck them up with the vacuum. Now I'm just going around the trim and using a detail brush to get into the crevices where the dust likes to hide. And honestly guys, these detail brushes are such an extremely useful thing to have. I'm sure you guys have seen that I use them all over the vehicle. So if you guys are ever looking to pick some up, uh, I've got the link to the ones that I use in the description and I highly recommend checking those out. After the seats are vacuumed, I'll start on the carpets. And guys, I have never seen such nice carpet inside a car before. Like it was so soft and it vacuumed just incredibly easy. Nothing was trapped in the fibers. Uh, by far, it was the nicest and the plushest carpet I have ever seen inside a car. So good on BMW for that. Now looking at these pedals, and it's obvious we need to clean these really good, they're pretty dirty. So what I use for this is my APC diluted at a four to one ratio, and then I scrub them with either my carpet brush or a detail brush, and then dry them with a microfiber towel. Moving on to the carpets now, and the driver's footwell was really the only area aside from the floor mats that um, you know really needed shampooing. So after I've sprayed on the carpet solution, then I use the drill brush to agitate it and help lift that dirt to the surface, and then I can extract it with my Bissell extractor. Moving on to the floor mats now, and you can see they're fairly dirty. The you know quite a few stains on them. Um, the one even has like some sort of melted caramel or something on it. But um, still following the same process as before, I'm going to spray on the solution, 
We'll let that sit for a minute or two and then agitate with the drill brush and then extract it. Now guys, I've probably mentioned before that I'm, I'm absolutely loving this Bissell extractor that I'm using, uh, but I just want to tell you guys again how much I'm enjoying this machine. Um, not only does it do a better job of cleaning carpet, you know, it's way quicker than my previous method of using all-purpose cleaner, uh, carpet brush to agitate, and then, and then a towel to blot dry. Uh, if you guys have ever thought about getting one, I'd highly, highly recommend this Bissell Spot Clean Professional is the one that I've got. Check out the link in the description if you're interested. Now check out how dirty and brown this water is, guys. <laughs> totally gross. Now because the interior trim mostly just had a bit of dust on it, uh, I just opted to use a damp microfiber towel here and just wipe everything down. Moving on to the UV protectant, and for this I'm using my favorite product, Aerospace 303. Give that trim that nice deep matte finish that just looks awesome. So next up is to clean and condition the leather. Um, so once we get that cleaner on there, I can agitate with a soft horsehair brush, um, which produces some nice foam and really helps to activate the cleaner, um, gets into the seams and gets any of that lingering dirt out. And then we'll follow up with a conditioner to help keep the leather feeling nice, soft and supple. Next up is to clean the glass inside and out uh, with Meguiar's glass cleaner and a waffle weave towel and clean that to a streak free finish. All right, now it's time to grab the polisher, slap on a finishing pad, and then get a coat of wax onto this beautiful, beautiful blue paint to really get this car looking glossy.
last step guys is to dress the tires. And for that, I'm using my CarPro Pearl diluted at a two to one ratio. See, I haven't forgotten about Pearl. Don't you worry. All right guys, we are done with this detail today. I had so much fun working on this BMW. There's just something about, you know, getting to detail and work on a, on a nice car like this. Uh, really just doesn't feel like work, so it was a lot of fun. Uh, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And yeah, that's where I'll leave things today. See you guys in the next one.